The raging inferno broke out just before 6 this morning in Elizabeth's industrial district. Three warehouses up in flames. The fight tonight far from over. It spread to two additional buildings. There were five buildings that were engulfed with flames. Currently, we are not calling the fire contained, but we are hoping there will be no more extension of the fire. There has been a firewall put up in resisting the spread of the fire, and we're confident that we're going to hold it where it is at the moment. When I was driving in at work, I came to the other side, and it was clear. But when you're coming over the bridge, you see the massive smoke. Gail Bacchio runs a nearby bakery. She says water pressure is low today as firefighters race to contain the flames. Very slow pump, which really, and this weekend is a very big bread weekend. Always our weekends are. So with low water pressure, and then sometimes you don't get the real clear water. More than 100 firefighters from multiple departments called in to fight the fire. They'll likely remain here for days. Firefighters had to battle the flames from outside the buildings. No way to get in. The thick black smoke could be seen from across the river in Staten Island. The building manager is on site, and they said the buildings were completely locked up all evening. Uh, there is no expectation of anyone inside of these buildings. The mayor says access to water has been a challenge, and with near freezing conditions, it is a battle. One of the warehouses used to house the Singer Sewing Machine Factory before it turned to making weapons in World War II. The state's DEP says none of the businesses are known to handle hazardous materials. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.